Hi everyone, welcome back to the DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to um, update the firmware for a Dell N4032F uh, um, using the uh, web management console, which is uh, called OpenManage. So first thing we're gonna do is prepare the USB drive. And uh, a USB drive is basically just a drive that is formatted with FAT32. Um, I have put the couple of um, firmware files here. Um, so the target that I, the goal that I want to get to is the uh, 6.54 firmware. But in order to get to 6.54, I need to flash first to 6.276, which I just did earlier. And the process is the same for us to now do the second step uh, or the final step to, to flash to 6.5.4. So uh, once this SDK file is already stored in the USB drive, uh, what I'm gonna do is just eject it and then put it, uh, plug it in into the switch while the switch is operational or not, it doesn't really matter. After logged in, you would want to navigate on the right hand side to system and file management and then go to USB drive. All right, make sure that the USB drive is active and then you would want to go to file download and you would want to select this to USB. Uh, mine, my file is inside this N4302F. If yours is not, it's just in the root directory. You can just start putting the file name here. But since mine is inside this directory, you would put the directory name um, and a slash behind it, like that. Okay, now you need to find the actual name of your uh, SDK file. I have a copy of mine. Okay, this is the file name for the final 6.5.4.20. Uh, the current date today is uh, December 19, 2022. This is the most current for this particular switch. Then I will paste the file name here. Switch this to active so that it, once it's uploaded, it'll right away start trying to use it and then click on apply. I apologize, actually I was wrong. You should eliminate the dot if you are uh, using a directory like that. I'm gonna click apply. You can also choose to um, download the file from HTTP. And uh, so if you select HTTP, uh, it'll just allow you to select the firmware file, uh, the SDK file from your drive, from your computer, and set that to active, and then click on apply. And then it will say, uh, are you sure that you want to uh, take a few minutes? Uh, if you said yes, go ahead and say okay. It will be loading, and uh, this can take up to about three minutes, from my experience, and then afterwards, it will automatically start applying it, it will not reboot. Uh, you would have to uh, monitor and make sure that it is actually going to be um, part of the next reboot, the next active, they call it. Um, so if you go to console, you'll see, if you're connected to console, HTTP file transfer is in progress. File transfer in progress. Management will be blocked during the duration of the transfer. Please wait. So what we're looking at is that what we want to do is change this next active to 6.54. That's the new version. <clears throat> so I just keep monitoring it between the console and the uh, um, web interface. One of them is going to be done soon. And afterwards, you would want to probably wait a few minutes uh, to make sure that it is the next active image that's going to be used. And then you can um, unplug the switch 
and plug it back in. Now on the uh, web management console, you'll see that uh, their status says file contents are valid, copying file to flash. Okay, so it says that the uh, file operation is complete. One more time, so this is the second time. And right now in the console it says file transfer operation is complete also. Management interfaces are released. And then the, if I press enter, it goes back to console prompt. And <clears throat> the web interface just reset it uh, out. It logged out by itself. I'm here, so I'm gonna do show version. And as you can see, the next active is 6.5420. Okay, but the current active is still 6.2. So right now, I'm gonna wait for about a minute to make sure that everything is properly written. I don't wanna unplug it right away. The switch have uh, fully rebooted. Uh, basically, I unplugged it and plugged it back in. And then now it's showing 6.5.4.20, which is the latest version. All right, well, this concludes this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so other um, watchers can discover it. And if you like this type of uh, content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.